We have the 2024 MLB All-Star Game, and Paul Skeens, the rookie that was drafted less than a year ago, number one overall, is making the start. Juan Soto got on base, so he did face Aaron Judge, and it was a one-pitch ground out, so Skeens with a clean first inning of work, and Shohei Otani, after walking his first at-bat in the top of the third, is going to take Tanner Houck 400 feet, an absolute no-doubt three-run bomb by Shohei Otani, because of course he does. That's what the fans came to see and they are getting what they wanted. Then Juan Soto in his first All-Star game as an American leaguer facing against the National League side is going to hit a two-run double to make it a 3-2 game. The game ended up getting tied at three-piece, and then Mason Miller came into the game, and he was pumping fuel. He got up to 104 miles per hour, which is the hardest pitch in All-Star game history when they've been able to track with StatCast. He strikes out Shohei Otani, and then All-Star MVP Jaron Duran is going to hit a go-ahead two-run homer what an incredible story he has been this year. So when they were down 3-0, the AL scored five unanswered and are going to win this game. Here are the StatCast leaders of the game. Jaron Duran, 413 on that blast. Mason Miller, 103.6. Ahead of the 2024 MLB trade deadline, Tarek Skubal is the Cy Young favorite and is likely going to be near untouchable for the Detroit Tigers, but if you're the Tigers, you're below 500 by a good margin, you're probably going to miss the playoffs again this year. You cannot say anyone is really untouchable if you get the right offer. Yes, Skubal has been the best pitcher probably in all of baseball this year because he's pitched more than Skeens. It's a bigger track record. He's the favorite to win AL Cy Young over Corbin Burns right now. But at the same time, with you being under 500 and going to miss the playoffs, if a team such as the Dodgers or Orioles offers you a deal with a couple of their top prospects in their organization, you have to be willing to listen. As Tom Verducci of Sports Illustrated said, everything has a price and teams that are really good now but also could use the rotation help and have a ton of top prospects to deal like the LA Dodgers and Baltimore Orioles could be preparing offers where they're sending out a couple of their top Top prospects in order to try to get the Tigers to budge on Tarek Skubal and this would be very interesting let's start with the Dodgers they have a ton of top prospects that can intrigue the Tigers and at the same time they have a rotation that's been decimated by injuries you talk about Tyler Glass now Walker Bueller Yoshinobu Yamamoto Clayton Kershaw Dustin May, Tony Gonsolin. That's an insane list of guys that the Dodgers have on the injured list right now. If you could bring in Tarek Skubal, that would be huge because they're already going all in. They already have a ton of depth locked up long term at the major league team, so why not just offer a ton of those top prospects? And the same goes for the Baltimore Orioles. One through nine, they're very loaded in their lineup already. So what's stopping them some, from offering some of those top prospects to get Tarek Skubal as well? If you look at their rotation, they have the runner up behind. Behind Skubal and Cy Young odds and Corbin Burns, but then Kyle Bradish, their co-ace, is going to be out for the year. They have a couple other guys that are out for the year as well, like John Means and Tyler Wells. So if you're the Orioles, you have so many top prospects. Jackson Holiday, what if they offered him to the Tigers? That would just be a hypothetical, but can the Tigers really turn that down? They also have guys such as Kobe Mayo and catcher Samuel Basayo that are some of the top prospects in all of baseball. If you offer them, a, if you offer the Tigers a pair of them, that's going to be really hard for the Tigers to turn down and at the same time if the Orioles are going to be able to pair Corbin Burns with Tarek Skubal to start the playoff series or the Dodgers can add Skubal to that lineup and rotation as well things could get very scary so while it's very unlikely Skubal to get dealt it's definitely worth noting that teams like the Dodgers and Orioles are preparing offers with top prospects to try to encourage the Tigers to budge that's according to Tom, Tom Verducci of Sports Illustrated.